Maite Michelle Rodriguez is an American actress. She began her career in 2000, playing a troubled boxer in the independent sports drama film Girl Fight, where she won the Independent Spirit Award and Gotham Award for Best Debut Performance. Wikipedia Born, July 12, 1978, age 46 years, San Antonio, Texas, United States. Height, 1.65 meters, full name, Maite Michelle Rodriguez. Parents, Carmen Milady Paired, Rafael Rodriguez. Siblings, Omar Rodriguez, Raul Rodriguez. Maite Michelle Rodriguez was born on July 12, 1978 in San Antonio, Texas to Carmen Milady Paired Espinal, a housewife, and Rafael Rodriguez Santiago, a U.S. Army solitaire. Known for tough chick roles, Michelle is proof that there is a cross between beauty and brawn. Michelle always knew she was destined to become a star, she just didn't know how to get there. Michelle lived in San Antonio until the age of eight when her parents divorced and moved to the Dominican Republic, where she lived for two years before moving to Puerto Rico. At 11, Michelle's family relocated for the last time to Jersey City, New Jersey. Although she has been working since 1999 as an extra in such films as Summer of Sam, 1999, and Cradle Will Rock, 1999, it only took a magazine ad announcing an open casting call in New York for Michelle to decide to finally step into the spotlight. The role was the female lead, the movie was Girl Fight, 2000. Despite the lack of experience in film and boxing, Michelle auditioned, along with another 350 girls. After various trials inside an actual boxing ring and five arduous months of training in Brooklyn's Gleason's gym, she was finally chosen to portray the role of Diana Guzman. As soon as the independent film began making the rounds at various film festivals, Michelle began gaining critical acclaim for her performance earning her awards like the Deauville Festival of American Cinema Award for Best Actress and the Las Vegas Film Critics Society for Female Breakthrough Performance. As Girl Fight, 2000, continued to gain notoriety with its September 2000 release, Michelle was already hard at work with films like 3 a.m., 2001, the blockbuster hit The Fast and the Furious, 2001, and Resident Evil, 2002. With Hollywood calling her name, the future for this feisty Jersey girl is as strong as the punches she throws. Family Parents Carmen Milady Paired Espinal Rafael Rodriguez Santiago Relatives Raul, half-sibling Omar, half-sibling Trademarks. Often plays tough, yet, handy characters. Trivia. Didn't have a driver's license before filming The Fast and the Furious, 2001, and had to obtain one during her training for the car chase sequences. Girl Fight, 2000, was her first acting audition, and she got the role. The Fast and the Furious, 2001, was her second audition, and she also got that role. When interviewed to join the cast of Lost, 2004, as a tough LAPD police officer, she insisted that she would only sign on for one year because she is a nomadic spirit. The producers came up with a storyline and sold the idea of a short contract to the network. She was the original choice for the title role in Aeon Flux, 2005, which went to Charlize Theron. Plays the Piano Her mom, Carmen, is of Dominican ancestry and her dad, Rafael, was of Puerto Rican descent. Dropped out of high school at 17, but later obtained a GED equivalency certificate. Has attention deficit disorder, ADD. She beat out 350 other girls for the role of Diana Guzman in Girl Fight, 2000. Is an avid inline skater. Is often seen singing karaoke alongside Lindsay Lohan, Bo Barrett, Emile Hirsch and Nicole Ritchie at Beverly Hills Hotspot, Guys. Was considered for the role of Christine Thayer in Crash, 2004, which went to Thandau Newton. Ranked number 34 on Maxim Magazine's Hot 100 Women of 2002 list. Has older twin brothers named Raul and Omar. It was announced in 2005 that she would be joining the second season cast of the ABC drama series Lost, 2004. Ranked number 77 in Stuff Magazine's 102 Sexiest Women in the World, 2002. 
has two half-sisters on her father's side. Good friends with Mila Jovovich, Jason Sereba, and Nicole Eggert. Born on the same date as Topher Grace. Quotes. I think empathy is a beautiful thing. I think that's the power of film though. We have one of the most powerful, one of the greatest communicative tools known to man. It's a form of communication and it's gonna reach you in a way of growth most of the time. I don't want people thinking of me sexually. I don't want people to be like, she's hot looking, you know? I want them to listen to me for what I am saying. And I think the best way to do that is to sniff my armpits and like, sit and burp every now and then. It just completely throws people off. I had a couple of offers to do some hot scenes in the shower with some guy and to make it real hot and sexy. The next thing you know, I'd be the next J.Low or something. But that's easy. I want success the hard way. My favorite part of my body is my brain. I think no matter what my body looks like, I won't be satisfied unless I know how to use it. I don't think it's narcissistic at all to love yourself and believe in yourself. I think some people are really scared to do that. I have to. If I don't, I would not succeed in what I do. No matter what, people are so narrow-minded that it won't ever be Michelle Rodriguez the actress, it will always be Michelle Rodriguez the Latin actress. And it's just something that I have to live with, because of the fact that people need labels to understand things. I can't even get into this ignorance that I'm dealing with. So I just ignore it, you know? Ignore the ignorance. On why she always plays the tough girl, well, could you really imagine me playing the girlfriend that needs rescuing? Or the girlfriend? You can keep knocking me down forever, I'll keep getting up and trying. Basically, right now Hollywood is a giant factory of remakes, because everyone is pussying out and they don't want to try anything new because they're scared, I guess. The money situation in the States isn't so keen right now. Our dollar is shitty, so I can understand why the studios are doing the guaranteed hit-off movies. I'm banking on that and I'm proud to be part of franchises that want me back. On the long-time speculation about her sexuality, in a 2013 issue of Entertainment Weekly, I don't talk about what I do with my vagina, and they're all intrigued. I've never walked the carpet with anyone, so they wonder, what does she do with her vagina? Plus, I play a butchy girl all the time, so they assume I'm a lesbo. Eh, they're not too far off. I've gone both ways. I do as I please. I am too fucking curious to sit here and not try when I can. Men are intriguing. So are chicks. Salaries. Widows, 2018, $750,000. Fast and Furious 6, 2013, $5 million. Cradle Will Rock, 2000, $60.